Boy, and what is going on? If this is your first time here and you want to learn about general survival and bushcraft and skills in the Florida swamps, as well as all types of other outdoor gear and stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so that you don't miss anything. Okay, let's get going. Uh, I was at one of my favorite places over the weekend, which was the Dollar Tree. And, you know, um, say what you want to about the Dollar Tree. Everything's a dollar. So if you're just getting into this and, you know, you're just, and you're just getting into the survival thing and you're just starting to go out and you're just starting to go hiking and you're trying to put together some good gear and, you know, you're watching everybody's videos and everybody has different things, uh, just remember that it doesn't have to be expensive. Uh, I show a lot of stuff on my channel for the old uh, government surplus, the Alice stuff and some of the Molly stuff. Uh, if you if you do the right searches on Amazon and eBay, you can pick up the old Alice gear in brand new condition uh, a lot of times. And a lot of my stuff I got in brand new condition. You can pick that stuff up for pennies, you know, just a few dollars. So you don't have to go uh, to Bass Pro Shops and you don't have to, uh, to go to Dick's Sporting Goods and buy the most expensive gear or the latest and greatest. You know, everybody's reviewing these knives and these knives cost, you know, $150, $200 a piece. No way. You just don't have to do it. Uh, I would start out slow uh, and with some surplus gear. That works great. Uh, so now, where, where do you go get all of your other stuff? Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Walmart sales is great. I just want to show you what, what I get at the Dollar Tree and what goes into my kit. Uh, first thing is, you know, you get some little scouring pads. You get a dozen of these for a dollar. Uh, you know, you can cut them into whatever kind of links you want. You know, they're just little square scrubbies. We're great for cleaning out your pots. If you're out cooking over an open fire, you get all, all kinds of soot and all kinds of char uh, on your stainless steel stuff. Uh, and that's really, really good for cleaning all your, all, all your pots and pans and stuff. Uh, you know, if, if you need cordage and twine, jute twine. I think these are 30, <laughs> I've been using this one. I think these are 30 foot rolls you get three of these for a dollar. What do you want to tie up? Use these for anything. Uh, you can also buy the, the picture hanging wire uh, also, and everything's a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Another good idea at the Dollar Tree are these cute little containers that I bought fit right in the top of my Condor bottle kit. Uh, exactly one cup up to the lid. Great for measuring, great for, great for taking out small portions of like rice or instant mashed potatoes or, you know, all kinds of any uh, stuff that you can fit in here. You can also use it for a drinking cup, too, if you have to. Uh, so, so that's a permanent part of my kit. Another thing that I, that I pick up at the Dollar Tree is go over to the kitchen section or the barbecue section and you get these. This is the little barbecue skewer, all right? And I don't know, it's about a foot long or so. It's got a nice little... Um, ring on one end you know it's a sharp point on the other end and you get four of these for a dollar this these are permanent parts of my kits what i do is i just clip it on with a carabiner and i hang it from my belt when i get to where i'm going and i cook one of my four favorite survival foods which is hot dogs you put a hot dog right on there or these are good for those little dollar ribeye steaks that i've been getting uh for for hiking food at the dollar store you know, I'm going to try to, to kind of skewer a couple of these and, and see how I can cook them. But four of these for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Can't go wrong. Another great thing that I get at the Dollar Tree is this. This is a big old barbecue fork. And this would also be good for cooking those dollar ribeye steaks as well as hot dogs. You know, you just skewer it right on. Or, or backyard cooking. Doesn't matter. This thing was a dollar. The cool thing about this is it extends. Watch. Now it's about... <laughs> Now it's about two and a half feet long, you know, and it's it's a little flimsy, okay. But you know, you can always you can always keep it uh, folded in. Uh, I might uh, I might cut this part off and, and only use and only use the fork part. It'll fit my backpack a little bit better. But here's another here's another permanent addition to my kit: a little barbecue fork. I'm gonna start carrying this with me on all my trips. Uh, You've seen another little thing that I've been using, a cute little fork and knife set, uh, uh, or actually fork and spoon set. Knife doesn't come with it, but these, they kind of friction fit together. And they got these little grooves. 
with the little grooves on the fork and all that does is it just fits together okay no rattle no nothing they're nice and small uh, but but uh, the, and you see me using these on Canteen Cup Tuesdays and you're gonna see these on the trail so that's just an example uh, of a few things to tell you that going outdoor and and hiking and bushcraft and survival I hate that word bushcraft because nobody really knows what it means I, it, it doesn't have to be expensive uh, it really doesn't the important thing is that you get out in the woods and you get out hiking in the trail Get your ass off your couch, get out, get some fresh air, and join our community. Start making videos of you out in the woods. Be careful when you're out in the woods, but join our survival community. Everybody needs to be on everybody else's channel. Uh, that, that's my spiel about uh, bushcraft doesn't have to be expensive. So, once again, you're going to see on the left-hand side of the screen, you're going to see some suggested videos. On the right-hand corner, you're going to see my subscription bubble. Uh, please check out the other videos on my channel, like, comment, and subscribe. And once again, this is Matt, the old Florida boy, and I will see you on the trail.